Have you had enough of each other yet? <laughs> we did get like a little bit annoyed at each other. It was about like two and a half weeks after being married. Mm. And it was like, stop, stop it. <laughs> Today we are going. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are going to be doing a newlywed Q&A. This is my husband. And we're gonna be answering all of the spiciest and juiciest questions about being married that y'all want to know. What was the most expensive thing for the wedding? Our wedding videographer. They were good pricey amount, but the official wedding video that they made is gonna come out sometime here in the next month. So. Really? Yeah. All right, this was the number one most asked question. When will you guys have a baby, child, kid, all of the above? Wow. <laughs> no, stop. Don't even fake a pregnancy <laughs> announcer right now. No. If it goes according to like plan, probably like three years, maybe up to like five years. We want to wait a little time. We want to get to know each other's husband and wife before we have to know each other as parents. Whose family name are you keeping? I am now going to legally be Keely Ellis once I send off all of the paperwork. Will you and Scott make a channel together? <laughs> Should we make a channel together? Do you think we'll ever do that at some point? I think based on our conversations, possibly. Comment down below if you want to see a vlog channel with me and Scott. How did you choose a date? Is there any significance or was it random? <laughs> Babe! It's on a bed, it landed on a bed. It's for, it's for funniness. Might have mentioned this before, but the Lord told us last October to get married this October. And what he told me in a vision that I had was October 21. I thought that meant October 2021. We were looking at a venue and the only date they had available was October 21st. How many children do you guys want? How many girls and how many boys? Two boys, one girl. Yeah, the same. What's the best thing about being married? Also sending love to both of you. I would say one of my favorite things is getting Leo to sleep beside you. I love that and snuggling it, every night. It's awesome to not have to say goodbye and drive 30 yeah. minutes or 40 minutes. Do you kiss when you wake up in the morning? Um, Sometimes. I have been scolded a little bit when I do leave for without giving my wife a kiss, trying to get better at that. Like that. Cute. What do you want to name your future children for a girl or boy? I wanted to put this one in here because I had a dream where we had twins and I named one of them Raylan Elizabeth Ellis and the other one's name was Everett James Ellis and I want to name our children both of those names. So if our children are watching this in the future and either of your names are Everett or Raylan, hey! If they're not, plans change. Who do you think is going to get pregnant first, you or Brie? I definitely think we'll probably end up being pregnant before them. I think, I think if Preston or Brie get pregnant, it'll be unplanned. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. What side of the bed do you sleep on? <laughs> if you're looking at the bed, I'm on the right side. That's because I'm closer to the bathroom, so it was very strategic of me. Who does the cooking and cleaning, and do you make the bed every morning? Hugs and kisses. Mwah. You've typically done the laundry. I've typically done the dishes. Making the bed in the morning, I can't. I can't make the bed when she's still in it. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> I try and make the bed every morning because I know it makes you really happy. She does it a lot. Every yeah, time awesome. he comes home and he goes, oh, you made the bed. I, so I make it just so I can get that reaction. Oh. <laughs> Is it weird calling each other husband and wife? Honestly, it was so easy to get adjusted to. For me, it's really weird. Husband still feels weird, but it feels better than fiance. I don't Fiance's know why. Fiance's awful. Fiance just doesn't roll off the tongue. It's not good. How was the honeymoon and how much planning did it take? I found our resort on TikTok and I was like, I want to go <laughs> there. And I sent it to him and I was like, let's go here for a honeymoon. Moon. Just a little bit of planning. It wasn't a crazy amount yeah. of planning. So then we booked it and booked our flights, and so the planning was easy. <laughs> and the honeymoon was great. Here's some pictures. Boom, 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 boom. It was so, so fun. fun. Did you wait until marriage? And if so, how was the wedding night? Spicy question. I want to say, first of all, to anybody that's not comfortable. Skip to this time if you don't care about hearing about this. Um, yes, we did wait till marriage. From the moment we started dating, we made that clear that we wanted to. And it's difficult because there's like desires and stuff. And, it was um, very difficult. It was like one of the hardest things I've Especially ever like done. Close, closer to, to getting married. Like, yeah. You got to put up boundaries and different things. And we had to have friends help us and have accountability partners. And, and we had to not put ourselves in vulnerable situations. And it was very worth it. It was so very, worth very it. worth it. I would say our wedding night was, first of all, incredibly sweet because he was such a gentleman and he had like rose petals and candles and like music and stuff whenever I came out of the bathroom. And it was just like every girl's like dream of like their first time. And I was like, oh, this is so sweet. And so 
it was just so natural and just was exactly what the Lord intended because we waited for the Lord's plan and purpose, which is to, you know, wait until marriage. That's all about that. Ash Martin said, do people judge you for getting married pretty young? I feel like we had a little bit of judgment and I don't feel like it was like maybe to our face, but I definitely feel like some people behind their, our backs were probably like, why, why are they so young getting married? Uh, almost everyone I talked to was like happy for me. Yeah. Or at least said that they were. I don't, I'm sure people thought I was, we were rushing into things or doing things the wrong way. I don't believe that at all. We did it the Lord's way. But now we're here. So don't judge us. Did you get nervous? I got super nervous two days before the wedding. My stomach started hurting so bad, Loki. So anxious. But I wasn't nervous to be married to you at all. I was so excited to be married to you. There was different times like a week before where, and a lot of it was just like the surrealness and like how close it actually was. Like I wasn't nervous at all day of or the day before. Any dream goals for Keely to be going on tours for her music? <gasps> yeah, if you guys making, wanna help me with that, go making, listen to my songs, link in the description. Bling, bling, bling. What was your favorite part about the wedding? One of my favorite parts was uh, we had my brother Caleb sing worship mm -hmm. while all of our friends and family came and prayed over us and that was really cool. That was awesome. <laughs> I think my favorite part, I had the most fun at the reception and the most like memorable part is just probably the procession. Are you gonna move Cookie into your new apartment? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the cooks. So this is my dog Cookie. Bing! Over my face. She's so cute. I got her before I moved to college. And then when uh -huh. I moved to college, my grandpa took her. And she is going to come live with us at some point. But right now we live in an apartment, so it's a little difficult. I want a puppy, but Scott will not let me get a puppy. He doesn't want to have an animal for the first six months of our marriage. Probably around our birthdays, which is in March. We'll probably end up taking Cookie. And if that works, then I can probably get a puppy. So that's the plan. Do you guys agree on your style of decorating? I feel like we've agreed very well. It's not as important to me. She knows exactly there's a very specific niche <laughs> thing that she wants and she's gonna go and pounce on it like a tigress. But for me, I'm like, oh, that looks good. But I love how our place looks. Like this video and comment below if you want an apartment tour. Is it strange to see someone else's clothes in your closet? Not for me because I was so used to being at Keely's house, I always saw her closet and her stuff saw a lot of times everywhere. <laughs> I'm just roasting me. So our senior stuff. Um, no, it's not weird. Doing. It's just annoying that I have to share a closet with someone. And I need more space. She gives me half of one closet, which is all I need. Don't let her deceive half you. Of one also, she also has all of a second closet. <laughs> she has a closet and a half, and I have half a closet. What is the thing that you dislike the most about living together? Um, so I don't think I've communicated this to you, but oh no, we're gonna get in a fight but, live on camera right now. But Keely loves things very clean, and I love that. I appreciate that, and I would rather that than someone who doesn't. However, sometimes it'll be like 1 a.m. or midnight, and we're really tired, and she's like, I can't go to bed until we, until we clean the living room. So we have to clean this, 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 and I'm like, I'm tired, bro. <laughs> I don't like that you have to go to work so early because I don't get to hang out with you in the morning. It's just kind of a selfish reason. <laughs> yeah. What are your favorite characteristics of your spouse? I love your kind heart. I got sneeze. <clears throat> and I love your cute voice sneezes. Uh, <laughs> my favorite characteristics about you are how much you care about people, how much you really do love me and, and long to want to love me better. Do you ever miss just dating? We were talking about this the other day. We kind of miss it a little bit. I brought up how, for me, I miss Keely more when there's like a couple days or a day when I don't see her. My love language is quality time, so I'm like really filled up all the time. It's not my first thought to do those things because I'm not missing her because I'm with her. I kind of miss those like beginning butterfly feelings. Yeah. Every single time you would hold my hand, it would be like yeah. a rush of energy of butterflies. Last question. Are you happier? I'm happier. No. Are you happier than I'm not. Right? <gasps> All right, joke. get you out of here. That's get out of your... <laughs> not that I was lacking, but like there is an increase for sure. So, amen. That's all. Amen, I love you. We'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye. That's all.